Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question from the second chapter of Merriam textbook, question 61. And we have indicated force couple system that is applied to a small shaft at the center of the plate. And we need to replace this system by a single force and specify the coordinate point on the x-axis through which the line of action of this resultant force passes. So basically we have a force in here and a moment. So that's the force couple system that we have and we have to replace this with one single force that the line of action of that force passes through the x-axis. So if we call this distance x, we have to figure out this distance and from the definition of force couple system, we need to find the sum of all forces that we have in this system we only have one single force and if you look at the force we'll see that this is in the positive direction of the y-axis so basically we have a six kilonewton force and if we want to express that force as a vector we have our f six kilo newton and the direction would be in the y-axis so we only have j component and that's the force that we have and let's figure out at this distance x that the force f needs to be located in order to make this 400 newton meter moment so we know our if you want to find the moment we simply have f times d our d's position vector or the distance vector as long as our f and d are perpendicular to each other so basically we have this distance as d which we call it x and as we can see f and d are perpendicular to each other so we can simply just multiply these two and as we can see, this is the direction for the moment. So it has to be in the positive direction of y-axis in order to make that moment in this direction. So this is the correct direction for f. As we can see, we have a positive j component. And rest of this is pretty easy. We have the moment about 0.0, which is 400 newton meter. And we have our f, which we have to keep in mind that is in kilonewton. So if we want to write it down in newtons, it will be 6,000 newton times the x, which is the unknown that we are trying to figure out in here. And if we do that, our x would be basically a meter two. And so our x will be 400 divided by 6,000, which is going to give us 0 0.0. 667 meter and we can write it down in millimeter if we multiply that by a thousand so 66.7 millimeter uh, which would be the coordinates of f on the x-axis so yeah that's pretty much everything for this one hope you guys find it helpful let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and comment it's going to help me to reach out to more students and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one